right, I wanted to take a couple minutes to show you how to use the sum and difference formula with this problem. It's a little bit scary looking, but it's really the sum and difference of this, sine u plus v. And using the sum and difference formula from page 468 in the textbook, we know that the sine of u plus v is equal to the sine of u cosine of v plus cosine u sine v. So, I have to use this formula from page 468 to solve that problem. The tricky part is the inside of the parentheses and what does that mean? Well, you'll recall from in the past arc sine x means what angle has sine x? So, at first glance I think, well, gee whiz, I don't know. So let's draw a right triangle. All right, here's a right triangle. Let's, let's call it angle A. All right? So, what's the sign of this angle A? Well, it has a sign of X. For angle A to have a sign of X, opposite over hypotenuse. This could be X and this could be 1. Because X over 1 is X. Alright? So, um, the sign of angle A is equal to X. Now, in this right triangle, there is a missing side that I might need when I'm solving some of these problems. Can I find that missing side? Sure you can. Pythagorean theorem, remember? x squared plus something I don't know squared equals 1 squared. Let's solve for that something. So that something equals, something squared equals 1 minus x squared. So let's do the square root of it square root 1 minus x squared. So this side, square root 1 minus x squared. Usually when I do square root, I can take plus and minus, but I use positive here because we're using the side of a triangle. So, there we have for, for arc sine x. Well, what about for arc cosine x? I do the same thing. Arc cosine x. What angle has a cosine of x? So let's draw this again. And for simplicity, we're going to call this angle B. So this angle B has to have a cosine of x. So adjacent over hypotenuse. So let's put the x there. And to be x, I, I need um, x over 1. And again, I'll solve for this side. And it's going to be the same solution over here, 1 minus x squared, the square root, 1 minus x squared. So now I have the angle A and B that these arc signs are talking about. Okay? So, um, instead of A and B, let's use U and V so that we can use a direct substitution for our formula. So, we'll call this one U, and we'll call this one V. So this is angle U. That's angle V. And so in angle V, the cosine of V equals x over 1 or x. Now, we just have to use <coughs> the answers from these triangles to fill in these spots. And we can get the exact value for this function. So, so let's do that. The sine of u, what's the sine of u? x over 1. So, so now I'm filling in these four spots. Let's get the plus there. Alright, so the sine of u, the sine opposite over hypotenuse, is, um, is x, or x over 1. Let's put it x over 1. Alright, cosine of v, well, that's x over 1. Okay, let's do cosine of u. Cosine of u, adjacent over hypotenuse. So that would be 
root 1 minus x squared over 1, and sine of v. Sine of v would be opposite over hypotenuse, root 1 minus x squared over 1. All right, so there. All I have to do is simplify that little bit of a mess there. Well, that's not so bad. That times that, x times x, x squared, plus square root of something times the square root of the same thing. Well, that gets rid of the square root for us. A little more simplifying. Do you know what I do next? Sure you do. I had like terms. So, x squared minus x squared gone, so final answer is 1. You got that? Can you see that final answer? Final answer equals 1. So, you have a couple more of these to do. I want you to try to do 53, 52, 53, and 54. Now, this answer, 1, came out nice and neat. Some of the answers are going to have these funny-looking radicals in them. But you try them and see if you can get them for yourself. I think you can do this. Good luck. Bye.